hearty good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome on behalf of Legal Era Group to this, uh, to this year's Legal Era Award Ceremony. We now invite Dr. Lalit Basin to please uh, present his uh, jury chairperson address to the August gathering. Honorable Justice Sikri, my very distinguished colleagues from the profession, as also colleagues from the corporate world, that is the in-house counsel, academicians, law teachers, a warm welcome to all of you. Friends, this is an occasion to honor our stalwarts in the profession as well as the emerging leaders in the profession. We had a difficult task because to judge to judge peers is, is not an easy task, you see. But we had certain guiding principles. The guiding principles were performance, potential, and polling. That is, polling means the votes. This transparent method ensured that we have the best of people to get the awards. Therefore, this formula has worked for the time being, and I congratulate the winners who will be announced, and I'm very grateful to all of you, and particularly to Legal Era. So, Legal Era, congratulations to you, and keep this up, and keep the flag flying. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are truly honored to have the presence of Justice Arjun Sikri, whose accomplishments are nothing less than stunning. So let's have a huge round of applause. Please help me welcome on stage our chief guest for the evening, Justice Arjun Sikri. Good evening to you all. This is a function by the lawyers, for the lawyers, of course, through the medium of this magazine legal era. What is fascinating about this magazine is that it is doing the job by connecting and bridging the gap between lawyers and the common man and presenting many legal issues in the magazine in simple form for this common man. This kind of award ceremony which you have started and you are in fifth year is again a commendable act on your part. Only other thing which I would say while congratulating all who are getting the awards today that your genius is respected, your genius is acknowledged. As it is said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration, which is true as far as our legal profession is concerned. And uh, let me end by quoting in one of the functions I heard uh, uh, Mr. Jait Malani saying this, that winning is like marrying. And marrying is the, marriage is the end of romance. So those who have won for them, romance has come to an end. But those who have not won today, romance continues. But I will request that even those who have won this romance with profession and the dedication which, with which you have performed up to now and you are recognized for that, you are acknowledged for that, that romance should not end even for those who have won. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the most awaited event, which is India's biggest legal awards, Legal Era Awards 2014-2015. The first segment to start with is the best law firm of the year category. Now moving into the treacherous waters, which is the shipping and maritime industry. It is a small yet a very lucrative industry, a niche practice area, difficult to master, yet some have done it brilliantly. Well, to do the honours of our first set of awards, may I please invite on stage Mr. Deepak Jacob, President and General Counsel, Star India Private Limited, and Avnindra Mohan, President, Legal and Regulatory Z Network.
let's send in our uh, cue uh, cards right there for Sir to announce the winner of our first category for the evening. Friends, the winner is Bose and Mitra and Company. Bose and Mitra are a boutique law firm specializing exclusively in shipping, international trade, insurance and arbitration. The maritime lawyers have a sound understanding of how the market works across dry shipping, admiralty and crisis management and transaction work. Congratulations, sir. Now, when we're talking about our next category, it is everyone's favorite. So the next category is Best Media and Entertainment Law Firm of the Year. And the winner in the Media and Entertainment category is TSK Legal. The firm offers legal services in the corporate and commercial laws, employment laws, insurance, IP, telecommunications, banking and real estate as well. And also advises on celebrity contracts, movies, television and celebrity labels. DSK Legal has the ability to apply global know-how in the Indian context with the objective of finding business solutions. So, mighty congratulations there. And thank you very much, sir, for doing the honors. Thank you once again. So that brings us to the next category, which is Best Labor and Employment Law Firm of the Year. The winner is Chada and Co. Chada and Company. The firm has undertaken a wide range of legal work pertaining to labor and employment laws for many industries, sectors including IT and ITS, trading, luxury and retail, manufacturing, healthcare, pharmaceuticals. In fact, the firm has also specialized in inbound practice in advising foreign corporations doing business in India. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, further ahead is actually the most dreaded but the most essential, the tax lawyers. The next category for the evening, best tax law firm of the year. And the winner for the best tax lawyer category is economic laws practice. TLT is the only law firm in India which offers an integrated tax offering covering transactional advisory and litigation across direct taxes, transfer pricing and all indirect taxes and the integrated expertise in advisory and litigation matters allows them to seamlessly address any dispute. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir, for doing the honours. Well, the next category for the evening is Best Intellectual Property Law Firm of the Year. And the winner is Anand and Anand. Ladies and gentlemen, Anand and Anand has always been at the forefront of IP litigation in India and has consistently pushed the boundaries in this field. In fact, in the year 2014, they've demonstrated their capabilities by achieving exceptional results for their clients, while at the same time pushing the envelope of law, both procedural and substantive. In our next category, which is Best Competition and Antitrust Law Firm of the Year. The winner is PNA Law Offices. PNA Law Offices represented a number of clients in the CCI and the Competition Appellate Tribunals, and specifically represented DLF in the CCI and Compat and the MCX SX in the predatory pricing case against the NSC. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we are uh, Warmly joined by Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad, who in fact is known to all of us as first a lawyer and then a politician. It is only befitting that I please uh, humbly invite Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad on the stage to please share a few words. Can we have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Please help me welcome Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good Indian law practice is changing gear. Professionalism is coming. I was amazed to find that there was a pressure on me to attend IT lawyers conference in Bangalore. I couldn't go. Therefore, diversification in law practice is also going. All this is an indication of the new India emerging, an India of opportunity, an India of new opening, an India of hope. And I'm sure with this new India of hope, larger opportunity awaits you, and this competition is going to become more tougher more competition will be there and surely 
a new expansion and horizon of the entire law practice will be there. My warm greetings and congratulations to all of you. Thank you. It's time to celebrate with our next category of the award, of the award which is Best Regional Law Firm of the Year, South. You all know it's Tatwa Legal. Well, this is uh, the unique addition to make and uh, how we look at the law firms by region and looking at the South region, it is Tatwa Legal Hyderabad, which is the largest full-service law firm in the states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. The Hyderabad office provides comprehensive legal services and solutions and has consistently been recognized as a market leader in the region. So from south we move to east. It is time to find out the winner of best regional law firm of the year, East. The winner in this category is SK Singhi and Company Advocates. In the year 2013, SK Singhi and Company Advocates became the first law firm in Eastern India and perhaps the youngest law firm at the age of less than five years of their existence to be bestowed with the prestigious ISO 9001-2008 certification by the British Standard Institute. And in fact, in the year 2014, they carried forward this prestigious accolade by consistently maintaining the strict norms put in place at the time of getting the certification. So mighty congratulations indeed for SK Singhi and Company. We're moving beyond the confines of India to the international climbs. So it's time to announce the winner of the best international law firm of the year. The winner is DLA Piper. DLA Piper is one of the largest business law firms in the world in 2005 through a merger of unprecedented scope in the legal sector. They serve clients wherever in the world they do business quickly, efficiently, and with a genuine knowledge of both local as well as international considerations. And with that, it's also time to evaluate ourselves. Uh, it's going to be time to announce the winner of Best Indian Law Firm of the Year. Winner is Amal Chand and Mangal Das and Sharof, Suresh and Sharof and Khan. A reputation spanning over nine decades that's been built on client service and innovation. Having a modern and entrepreneurial approach to its work and its office space, the firm has invested in all aspects of infrastructure, human and relationship capital. Well, we are now about to move ahead with the IT sector. The next category is Best IT In-House Team of the Year. Microsoft Corporation India Private Limited. Microsoft Corporation India is one of the fastest growing subsidiaries of Microsoft Corporation, the worldwide leader in software, services and solutions. In fact, the Microsoft, Microsoft India story began in 1990 and picked up greatly in the new millennium and has also grown steadily since then. Moving on to the telecom sector, best telecommunication in-house team of the year. Uh, it is a very known baby, Bharti Airtel Limited. Bharti Airtel Limited, a leading global telecommunications company with operations in 20 countries across Asia and Africa, headquartered in New Delhi, India. The company ranks amongst the top four mobile service providers globally in terms of subscribers. The next category. Well, we all know insurance is the savior of all, so let's get started with best insurance in-house team of the year. Max Life Insurance Company Limited. Well, they're all smiles because the legal team of Max Life Insurance Company comprise of legal, compliance, secretarial, as well as regulatory functions, and they've been uh, doing stupendous work in terms of insurance as well. So let's have a round of applause one more time for Max Life Insurance Company.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the country has been hit by a revolution in this sector that we're talking about, and it has, in fact, taken all of us by surprise. So let's uh, begin with the best in-house dot-com legal team of the year, e-commerce industry. The winner is Flipkart.com. We see happy faces here when we say Flipkart.com. The poster boys of e-commerce. And that brings us uh, to the next category, which is Best Media and Entertainment In-House Team of the Year. And the award goes to Star India Private Limited. The present leadership Star India's legal team under Mr. Deepak Jacob, General Counsel, started in the year 2008 and the team strikes a perfect balance with the mix of lawyers with professional experience of over 25 years and fresh appointees. A challenge in the status quo has been the uh, guiding principle of Star India's success with the motto that gets reflected in the legal as well as regulatory teams. Talking about the next category, it is to those who are, in fact, keep us occupied with small purchases and meet our day-to-day -day needs. It is the best FMCG in-house team of the year. And the winner is Hindustan Coca-Cola Beverages Private Limited. All right, so we're opening the bottle of happiness. That's one happy team indeed, ma'am. And let's have a round of applause one more time. Diversified, stable, growth-oriented Hindustan Coca-Cola Beverages Private Limited is the largest bottling partner of the Coca-Cola company in India, part of the Coca-Cola company's bottling investment group and also responsible for the manufacture, pack package, sale and distribution of the beverages under the trademark of the Coca-Cola company. Let us very quickly move to the next category, which is Best Compliance In-House Team of the Year. The winner is Asian Paints Limited and Hindustan Unilever Limited. All right, so this is the bit. We've got two winners in this category, Asian Paints Limited and Hindustan Unilever Limited. And so we have one more category of award to do the honors first, which is Best In-House Legal Team for Innovation, Strategies and Continuous Growth. And so the winner is? The winner is Tata Sons Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, the team is headed by Mr. Bharat Basani, who advises Tata companies in diverse industrial sectors, including telecom, civil aviation, financial services, automobiles, etc. And the team is very, very well known for handling corporate, that's domestic, cross-border M&As and litigation matters. So let's get started with our uh, category, Award for Pro Bono Excellence. My friend uh, Chris Parsons. Moving on to our next category, which is Education Leadership Award. And let's find out a winner in this category. The one and the only one, Professor N. R. Madhavan. Professor Dr. N. R. Madhavan Menon is a legal educator from India and was instrumental in setting up the National Law School of India University in Bengaluru. Well, that really deserves a standing ovation, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, the inspiration continues as we also move ahead with our next category of award, which is Award for Outstanding Achievement in-house. 
winner is Neera Sharma. Neera Sharma has very good experience in dealing with complicated matters that require consideration for compliance, litigation, business processes, etc. and also in leading complex cross-functional teams and assignments. She's creative in identifying proactive solutions to eliminate or mitigate risks and also advance the business. In the next category for the evening, Award for Outstanding Contribution and Excellence. In the race, she is Harish K. White. May I also invite uh, Namita Chadda, who is a founder partner, Chadda and Company, to please uh, join our presenters on the days. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the next category, Corporate Personality of the Year. Avrendra Mohan, can we have a huge round of applause, please? Mr. Avnindra Mohan, President Legal and Regulatory, Z Network. Please welcome and congratulate him. Ladies and gentlemen, the next category for the evening is Lifetime Achievement Award for In-House General Counsel. The winner is Mr. K. S. Suresh. Can we have a huge round of applause for Mr. K. S. Suresh, Group General Counsel, ITC Limited, widely acclaimed for his legal acumen. And uh, that brings us to the next award, which is Lifetime Achievement Award. I have known this person ever since he was a student. And it's a great privilege that I declare winner of this great award, Lifetime Achievement, Amarjit Singh Chandeok. We are now coming to the end of the uh, final set of awards, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, the next award is a very, very special award as well, the Business Excellence Award. Um, and this award, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Mr. Rana Kapoor. Can we have a huge round of applause for the visionary business leader, professional entrepreneur and founder of Yes Bank, India's fourth largest private sector bank. We'd also like to announce that as Mr. Rana Kapoor is not here in in this event, we are joined uh, by Mr. Nikhil Sani, who is a Senior President, Government Relationship Management with Yes Bank. He is responsible for managing the bank's relationships with central government, state government, central and state PSUs and other affiliates. Well, as always, I say that it's not over until it's over because uh, the next award is again a very, very, very special award. Well, this is the Star Couple of the Year. What makes it more special is that couples being part of this legal fraternity and making it so special. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Star Couple of the Year award goes to Dr. Lalit Haseen and Nina Haseen.
We're going to have all our winners very quickly come on stage with your shining trophies. All the winners, you kindly requested to come on stage. <laughs> <laughs>